Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Mind Over Magic, where we're back again at the Geek Cupboard School of Geekcraft and Geekery, but we are lacking something very important indeed, and that thing is students. Right now, we have no students at all. The three we did have graduated last time, and that was all very good, it was all very exciting. They went into a portal thing over here, and they did some kind of magic-y stuff, and then they went on to do wonderful great things out there, enriched by the education they received here at the Geek School of Geekcraft and Geekery, but now yes, we are left without any students at all, so I think we should begin by sorting that out. Let's pop down here to the Student Summoner and get some more students in. Now the only thing I don't know is how many wands have we got? We've got two wands apparently. We have an air wand and a nature wand, okay. So maybe, is it worth, where is the wand maker thing? Oh, it's there behind the stairs, okay, not exactly the best place for it, but it will do. So I think maybe it could be worth making sure we always have a decent supply of wands on hand. So maybe we should get a fire wand, but yeah, say do that until we have one. So always have a fire wand on hand, just in case. Just in case we need a fire wand to, you know, go and do some fire magic stuff, and then do the same for a water wand, do that until we have one, and then do the same for an earth wand, what else do we have? An air wand, yep, do that until we have at least one of those kind of hanging around. Dark ones, again, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit suspicious of these, you know, tentacle icon thing, but Betty has a dark wand and Betty's power is quite good. She's got that kind of shadow cloak and then kind of assassin -y thing. It is quite good. So do you know what? We'll get a dark wand. It's fine. We'll go down that path and then we'll get a nature wand and then we shall have a lightning wand. Okay, so do that until you have one of those. Now, some we can't do. We haven't got the ingredients to make the air wand or the lightning wand or the earth wand or that kind of stuff, but they will start making wands, which is quite handy. So, okay, they can work on that. And then, yes, down here we go to the student summoner. Let's go and grab ourselves a student. Okay, so... Um, I mean, yeah, Bernard, you can do that, Bernard. You look ready to go and do the stuff. Let's get an air wand student in. So begin that ritual, please. It takes oh, hardly any time at all. 15 minutes. Okay, so run time on. Let's get that done. So Bernard can pop down here, wherever you might be, Bernard. There you go. You're just there. Look. So you go and do that, please. So you bring in our first student. It does look good. That does look fantastic when they summon them in. Look at it, it's all exciting and there's wooshy stuff. Okay, we've got, who's that? Danny, Danny the human student. Okay, hello there, Danny, welcome aboard. And then, hang on, Bernard, hang on, hang on. You're not done just yet. You wait there, Bernard. There is more for us to do. So, um, yeah, can we go and do another one of these? So, uh, yeah, not an air wand, though. Change that round to a nature wand. Begin that ritual and then come and grab us another student, please. Bernard. Bernard, no, you've gone the wrong way, Bernard. <laughs> we want you to go down here, Bernard. Okay, right, that's fine. I think he's coming back down. So then we'll have the two students, which is all very good. And I do like how Danny comes into the school. He's just been summoned via a great big kind of magic portal thing. And he heads up the stairs and goes to that room and immediately has a bit of a boogie. Look at that. He's just come up and he's doing some dancing, which is brilliant. I do like that look. There you go. Welcome to the school. We like a bit of dancing here. Uh, as does Betty and also Dave. Uh, apparently Dave is in pain and terrified. Why are you in pain and terrified, Dave? What has terrified you? Your HP is not full. Okay, well you can go and rest and you're terrified. Why are you so terrified? Is that some sort of cure with a cure terror ritual at the medical bed? Oh Dave, oh Dave, hang on a minute, no, hang on. Let's put you there. So you go and have some medical rest. I'm going to uh, I'm going to order you to go and do that. And then, hang on. So when he's in that bed, does Betty need to go and do a cure terror ritual thing, whatever it was? Oh, I feel a bit sorry for Dave. How long have you been terrified, Dave? I never noticed. Right, hang on a minute. And then, how do we do a thing? How do we do that? Hang on, is it here? Um, cure terror. Remove terrified from a mage. We need... Oh, they must be in, in an infirmary. And they need to have a bravery potion. How do we get bravery potions? I don't think we have any of those. Oh, okay. Dave, you might need to be terrified for a little bit longer until we can sort that out. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? That's a bit of a bother. Okay, never mind. Um, also, I've left all that kind of stuff down there. So really... We need to get some more people in, you know, more students, more pairs of hands to come and move some more stuff around. 
because as the school gets bigger and we've got more stuff going on, there is a lot of work to do around here. So you know, if we could get the um, the new ones made, get another student in, that would be quite wonderful. And then could we get another bed into here and have four students? That would be quite good. I mean, yeah, there's not that much room in here. If we do put a bed in, we are going to you know, interrupt the dance floor, if you like. We're gonna, gonna have to sort of you know, spoil somebody's dancing spot. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> Edric has come in, our second student, the one, the nature one. Hello, Edric, a human student. And also you've come in to have a bit of a dance. Not going to go and do any learning or go and have a look around or meet people. No, no, just go in and just, you know, strut that funky stuff and whatever it is. Okay, right, there we go. Wonderful. So could we, could we get another bed in here? Or a cot, it, it's called at the minute, isn't it? It's not a proper bed right now. Uh, no, because we have no wood. Okay, that's a bit of a bother. We could if we wanted to, build a mana lantern. We could build one of those. So that means, yeah, we can we can sort of recharge people's mana with that. Uh, I mean, that would be quite good. That would be quite good. Um, I assume it also is massive. <laughs> okay, that thing is huge. That thing is gigantic. Okay, okay. Um, maybe, what if we put it in the room where they do their sort of, uh, their actual sort of learning? And that means that they can possibly although can we fit it in can we fit that in in the corner that would be quite good because then they can do their magic stuff and they can just you know then recharge their magic with the mana lantern thing and then just you know carry on doing what they need to do they can just sort of top up from there although is that what it does is that what it does focusing its light to restore mana needs a charge to function and a skill required for use is lightning okay so we have to charge it up with lightning. Okay, and we are going to craft a lightning wand at some point, so possibly we could get that done. But yeah, I don't know where to put that. I'm not entirely sure where to put that. And if we put it in different rooms, it might possibly break that room setup, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, do you know what? Never mind. We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Uh, yeah, we need wood. We need some wood. So possibly we should look at going to grab all this stuff. Uh, so let's go and gather all this. And thank you to people in the comments who pointed out that we can press on the keyboard T and it tilts the angle a bit, look, so we can get a slightly better view at what's over here. Because last time I was trying to click on a rock, I think it was, or something, and I couldn't quite click on it because there were other things in the way. But yes, if we do that, look, we have a little bit of a different angle and it might help us out a bit better. So there we go. But right here, we have got plenty of trees that we can go and harvest for wood, which is wonderful. We'll get that sort of smoke stick thing as well. Thank you. And then over here, I mean, that tree is sort of in the way. Uh, in fact, you know what? Get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of this stuff down here. Just harvest all of that stuff. Just go and grab all of that, please. That's all going to be handy stuff. And in fact, how much iron have we got? 48. Go and grab, go and grab that as well. And that tree. And then ice stuff. Go and grab that ice stuff. That could be quite handy. Um, yeah, we need to pick up that stuff there. Uh, and then we have got some dire rats as well over there. Right, okay, so plenty of work for them to do now. I have gone and told them to do many, many, many things. But hopefully... They should all be able to get on with it. There's plenty of food on the go. Got six lots of bitter gruel. Mmm. And six lots of gut berry soup. So food-wise, we're looking okay. It's not exactly, you know, fine dining, but it's better than starving, I suppose. So that will do for now. Um, so let's get time ticking on a little bit. And let's see what we can do. So you're going to come out here. I don't know what you just did. Oh, I think you just harvested some rice. I think you just did some rice harvesting, which is good. This is all very good. Yeah, we haven't got any um, sort of storage boxes in here. Should we possibly put a storage box in there? Is that going to affect our sort of scullery room? Uh, it can't have teaching stations, dining table uh, tables, beds, anything like that. But I think we can have a box. We can put a storage box into there. Okay, right, that's fine. We shall do that because there's a bit of room down here. The fog is advancing. Okie doke. Uh, yeah, storage. We haven't got any wood. Okay, right. We, we need some wood, everybody. Can we go and chop down some trees? <laughs> we are lacking wood. Wood is the uh, the critical thing that we are missing to do all of the stuff that we need to do. And of all the things you could do, you're attacking that wormweed, which is good. You know, it's a handy thing. Yay for you doing that. But 
The trees are possibly more important, but okay, they'll get to it eventually. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed by and they've done a fairly good job over here of gathering all the stuff. That looks pretty good. Over here, not quite so good. We still do have those three trees there that we would like to go and get cut down. But in terms of wood, we've got four because I think what keeps happening is they're taking it to make wands, which we did tell them to do, which is pretty good. So right now in reserve, we have an earth wand, a fire wand and a water wand which I think means we should go and grab ourselves another student. Let's go and grab... Uh, yeah, Bernard, you can do that again, please. Uh, let's get a fire wand student in. That could be exciting, couldn't it? So there you go. Begin that ritual, and then we'll be back up to three students, which is pretty good. And I was thinking, maybe when Danny and or Edric actually are fully skilled up and they can't be any better, we could potentially, instead of graduating them, we could hire one of them as a staff member. Because right now, we do only have the four staff. And yeah, that's okay. But on a regular day, if one of them is teaching and one of them is either, you know, doing some crafting work, making wands or doing research or whatever, that only leaves two of the teachers to go and do all the work we need them to do. Chopping down trees and gathering stuff and harvesting and doing everything else. That's not that many teachers, is it? That's not that many people to go and do lots of stuff that we need to get done. So possibly... If, say, we turn Danny, for example, into a staff member, Danny will become a teacher, and that's just another pair of hands to go and help out around the place, which would be quite useful. What do we need to... Oh, hang on, the fog's moving. Uh, what do we need to actually do? So we need a student. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then we need somebody to actually officiate the whole ritual thing. That's fine. And then... Oh, the Adept Scrolls. Oh, okay, right. So we need six of those. Okay, so it would make sense, possibly, then to say have, I don't know, Danny or Edric, I'm not quite sure. So let's say Danny, we'll choose Danny. So Danny can then graduate and then Edric could become a member of staff. So we take the scrolls we get from Danny's graduation and apply them to Edric and Edric can then come and work for us or the other way around. And we have a new person. We've got a new Wolfkin student and they've been given the fire wand and they're called Frost. Okay, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Nice work there. Okay, but now we're back up to three students, which is wonderful. And look, they're all being very busy. They're all moving stuff around. This is brilliant. Okay, what wood do we have? Four. Again, not that much wood because we keep taking it to that thing. But you know what? That's okay. We've now got another wand in stock, which is pretty good. And yeah, we could do, really with building some storage stuff over here. We're down to one wood now. <laughs> we are absolutely flying through the wood. Um, okay, there's some more wood over there. There's 29 wood now. Can we please just use five of it, just very quickly, and just pop that into there, and pop that into there. Just get some more storage stuff set up, please, because that would be quite useful. Um, and, hang on, hang on. Does that mean, have we researched, yeah, furniture, Ah, incense burners. Yes. Okay. Right. So smoke pearls. We need to get smoke pearls to make incense burners. And I think if we get two incense burners into that room there, it will then become, hang on a minute, an infirmary, which I think could be quite good. So yeah. And also, yeah, if we have an infirmary, we can make sure that Dave is no longer terrified because that's one of the rituals we can do when that's a proper medical room. Okay, right, that could be quite good. Um, yes, yeah, so we need, yeah, two or more incense burners. Uh, Okie doke. Right, how do we get those pearl things then? Do they come from the smoky, crystally things we keep finding around? They might well do. Okay, so possibly what we need to do is we'll have a little bit of... In fact, have we gathered all the stuff we told them to gather? I think we have. I think we have. Okay, we might possibly need to go and push back the fog a bit then. That might be the thing we need to do now. Um, if we could go and get a bit more viscera, we could do a superior repel fog and really, really push it back. That might be worth doing. Okay, what we'll do is uh, we'll go to here, go to gather. So we'll have you, we'll have you, uh, and then any more kind of rodenty rat things lying around. There's one there. There's one. Hang on a minute. We can use the magic button. Wonderful. Right, so get the stuff from all of those. There's one in there as well. Hang on a minute. Like that. Okay. That should be enough. Hang on. There's one in there that's escaped our attention. You there. Uh, and also, yeah, a few people did say as well you can double click and it selects the same sort of thing, which is also useful. So there we go. We'll harvest those things as well. So again, plenty to do. But... 
I think if we can push the fog back, we can then get those smoke pearl things sorted, and we can then turn that into a proper infirmary. And in the meantime, we do need to keep on building as well. We do need to do some more building work. And also, we have to pick some research. Maybe we will wait for all the wands to be done until that's all sorted. Um, yeah, how, how are we looking with that? How are we looking? So fire wand... Can we see? Oh yeah, right. So we're working on dark one, nature one, lightning one. So when we have seven ones, we've got four now. So when we've got seven sort of, you know, that topped up and stocked up and such. Oh no. Oh no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We need to go and get that sorted. Um, yeah. Harvest that thing, please, Paisley. Forget the ones. Go and destroy this terrifying thing because that was sapping everyone's mana while they were asleep, which isn't very good. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. What we could do is we could do with putting some candelabras around the place because they make the rooms a bit brighter, don't they? I think, yeah, is it that? They're lighting. So that room is quite lit. That's a well-lit room. No void room will spawn. These here are a little bit dark. I don't think they spawn under the ground, do they? Um, I mean, they're all... They're not going to spawn down here because it's well lit. I assume because of the glowing mushroomy things, possibly. I don't know. Um, so yeah, maybe as well... We get some, where would it be? Lighting. We get some candelabras. But again, we are lacking wood. Okay, right. So the wood of the minute is our limiting factor. Uh, let's go to here. And we shall just gather some more wood from those trees there. And that one there. And that one there. Please just gather all of the wood. <laughs> we need much in the way of wood. We keep turning it into wands. Which is fine because we are a school for magic-y people. But also... We do need it for other things as well. So, right. Okay, let's get this done. Let's go and grab a whole lot of wood. And then we can do a lot of other stuff. And also, yes, when we do have enough viscera, we will push the fog back a little bit more. We've got 12 right now. So we're halfway with the viscera we need to push the fog back quite a bit. And then... Oh, hang on. Frost has completed one of their trial things. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, well done. Well done, Frost. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Trials and medallions. Which one did you get? That one. You got the wisdom one. Oh, that was good. I didn't even see what that was. Boosted power and speed. That one is overcome the burrower lava. Okay, don't think you're going to do that one just yet. And serenity, go two days in a row or above at 70 conviction. Okay, currently 76. Target value 96. Change by plus two per hour. Oh, okay, so they might be able to do that as well. They might get that one done too. Oh, okay, that'd be quite good. Well done, well done, Frost. You've not been here that long and already you're excelling. Wonderful. Ah, right. That's quite good. I think now we have one of each type of wand in reserve. So we have air, dark, earth, fire, lightning, nature and water. That's seven different types of wands, which I think now means that we're not making any more. So all the wood that we're gathering can now be used to go and build some stuff, which is wonderful. OK, right. Let's get some candelabras around, shall we? Just to stop those pesky void shrooms from appearing. So we'll have one in there. We'll pop that one... I mean, can it go right there? Can it go underneath the existing light? We'll put one there. So that's quite good. So we'll have a bit of that. I mean, how many more of those can we make? How much of the Phoenix flowers have we got? We've got loads of Phoenix flower stuff. Okay, so that's good. Hang on, go to there. So that room will then be all lovely and brightly lit, which is marvellous. And then we need to do the same for this bit here. So if we pop that... I mean, just put it there. Look, that'll do. Just, you know, on the, near the stair thing so people can see what they're doing. We'll pop that one in the corner because that's quite good. And that one can go... Um, where can that one go? Where can this go where it's not going to be a nuisance? We'll put it there, look. And then in here, we just put it... I don't know. Took it into that corner. And that should be okay for those rooms. Okay, right. That's quite good. I like that. So they can get on with that, which is wonderful. Um, how are we looking in terms of viscera? That's not what I expected to happen. Oh, I clicked on a student. Sorry. Okay. Um, we're on still on 12. Okay. Maybe because they're all currently chopping down trees. Okay. It's going to get a bit rainy. That is a bit of an issue for our assembly hall over here because there's not a proper roof there. So big drops of water are going to drop in and possibly cause some problems. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll work that out soon-ish. Uh, what we're going to do with that room there, I would like, if we could, to turn that into some sort of dining room and then maybe have a kitchen over here or something. But quite a lot of people in the comments last time pointed out that there is a research thing we can do that means we can build more foundation. So we can kind of expand out that way. 
I'm not quite sure if we can go up that hill or not, but we can sort of expand outwards, which would be quite useful. So maybe we have a look in the research thing and find where that is, because that is going to be kind of key, really, I would say. Is it over here? So foundations. Uh, oh, it's not around for a while, is it? Good grief. Rustic furnishing. So plain beds. We've got our ah, windows. There are the windows. Ah, okay, right, that's quite useful. Ritual accessories. Uh, I mean, that's a free thing. That doesn't require scrolls or anything else, so that could be something we get done. Where's the foundation stuff? I'm not quite sure. Growth and decor. That's all sort of planty stuff, though, isn't it? That's all plant stuff. Is it over here? Good ventilations. Small round windows, chimneys and chimneys and things. Okay, that's fun. Don't know where the foundations are, though. Can we see where the foundations are? This is all to do with light, is it? This is sort of light and medicine stuff. And then over here, we've got graves and things. Okay, graves and mining. Uh, okay, right, hang on. It, oh, brains. It must be around somewhere. It must be around. So hang on, let me go and try to find where the whole sort of building foundations thing is, because that could be quite useful. Okay, I found it. There it is. Look, foundation. Permanent construction blocks that extend where you can build your school and support walls cannot be demolished. So it's part of the sort of yellowy research tree. The only thing is, we haven't really done much with this. We've got domesticated gut berries done. We started with that completed, but we've not done anything else with it. So next up, we'd have to get hardy foliage, but we can't do that right now because I don't think we have enough scrolls. Have we got, does it require, hang on, which is the one it requires and which is how many we have? Four and three. Hang on, how many do we have? We should be able to see over here. We've only got three. We've got three. So I don't think we can do that right now. I think we need another scroll to get that done. So we have to get that done, unlock the secrets of some hardy foliage, and then we can get these kind of handy support things, which could have been useful last time, let's be honest, but never mind. So we get ourselves a little support, which gives us an arch support, very handy, a bracket that extends the support provided from a wall to a floor by two, really useful. And then what's that? A fancier earth wand. Okay, that's quite exciting. And then we get kind of some support pillar things, and then we'd eventually get down here to going places where we can get the foundation stuff unlocked. So that, I think, is where we should go, just to make the school a bit bigger. But yeah, we are going to need to get some more scroll things. Okay, so possibly another little trip down into the dungeons might be required. How? Oh, hang on. Danny's already maxed out all of his skills. Oh, good job. Good job, Edric can't be far off. In fact, no, Edric is almost there as well, look. A teeny tiny bit of effort, and Edric will max out their nature wand. And Frost has a little way to go, but not too far to go. So, yeah, you're doing pretty good, Frost. Give you started later than the others. You're not doing too bad a job at all. But, okay, right, they're now out here doing some work. Look, picking up some stuff, bringing it in, which is all very handy. Uh, okay, I think then, run time on. We're going to need to possibly... There's a gremlin in the school. Pause time for a second. Hang on. Hang on. What do we do about a gremlin? There... Oh, look at you. Oh, you're quite spectacular. I don't know what you're doing, though. You're casting smash at a void cap. Um, okay. I mean, that's probably not the worst thing you could do. How do we deal with you? Do we have to chase you off? Hunt the gremlin. Oh, but it looks, it looks sort of cute. It looks like it's made of straw. A little sort of straw gremlin with orange eyes. Um, Paisley, can can you go and hunt this thing, please? <laughs> can you go and do that immediately? I'm not quite sure what you were doing, but can you go and get this thing sorted out? Because it is going to be a nuisance. It's come up in red over there, which is probably a bad thing. Um, I do feel a bit mean hurting this thing because it does look sort of adorable but there we go I think it's going to be sorted out very soon and it's turned into a carcass okay lovely possibly I don't know how are we looking for the um oh that's Betty how we're we looking for the thing we're still on 12 viscera okay what have you lot been doing I, I told you to go and kill many things go and do much in the way of hunting please um also we need to grab all this stuff because it's all falling apart in the rain can we go and grab more things? Um, yeah, you're bringing stuff in. Good job. Good job, students. <laughs> I 
there's there's work to be done you lot there's work to be done i appreciate i appreciate your dance moves and they're spectacular but if you could get on with doing some stuff that'd be grand you're just eating literal just berries oh yeah but you eat just the lowest quality food available because you don't care you're not bothered these sort of yeah the cushion people don't really care too much um okay right run time on fairly quickly let's just let them you know, catch up with stuff yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that viscera done because the fog is getting a little bit close. It's not right on our doorstep. Eight days left, but if we could push it back a bit, that would be grand. Oh, here we go. I think it's now hunting season. Look, they decided to go and do all the hunting now because we have picked up quite a lot of viscera, which is good. So we're on 22 and hopefully you can bring it all back. We should have plenty of storage options now. There are many, many boxes dotted all over the place that shouldn't be overly full. That one's got four out of ten. I think that one was full, wasn't it? Okay, there's a couple here. And we've got many down here, look. Many down here. They've got nothing in. They've got, yeah, a couple of those got nothing in. So, yeah, there's plenty of storage over here. It would be good if we could get some better storage options. That'd be quite good. In the meantime, while we can't do that research, is there other research that we could do? Oh, yeah, ritual accessories. That could be quite good. A solemn pedestal. That just makes the a ritual room better, does it? Does that make our ritual room better? And then we've got ourselves, yeah, solemn kind of a bra brazier type thing. I never know how you say that word. Um, yeah, that as well. Let's research that because it's free. It requires no resources, no scrolls, no anything else. We just get that done. And I think that's what we'll try to do with all of the other research. We'll just try and do what we can. I mean, grave thoughts is free, as is that. And then we need scrolls and things. Okay, that's fine. But at least we can do that. So that's something to keep Paisley occupied overnight, I think. Because that's quite high priority stuff. Um, so yeah, you go and do that, please. You finish that off. I don't think it'll even take that long. And then, yeah, then when that's done, I think we can think about building up a little bit over here. Maybe getting some sort of dining room set up. Look at getting a kitchen. And of course, we do need to go and dive into the depths a little bit. That'd be quite good. Can we hunt these? Are we allowed to hunt those? Oh, yes. Yes, we are. Oh, okay. Go and grab those as well. That's a nice, easy source of viscera right there. Don't even have to go outdoors. That's wonderful. Okay, Edric has just also maxed out their skills, which is pretty good. So I think now we can go dungeon diving with Danny and Edric and a couple of teachers. So what do we have? Air wand and a nature wand. Okay, right. So I think let's go down here. Look. So next up is another bit of the fungal cavern. Hopefully not too difficult. So begin that. So yeah, Bernard can go on the back row because that makes one of your things a bit better. Uh, we'll take all of these things. Thank you very much. Then we can take one of those. In fact, everything, all of the things. Take all of that. That's going to be good. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll put Danny there. So Danny has, which is Danny? Danny is air three. Okay, and then Edric... On the front for nature three, or is air better? Do we put air at the front? Have we had an air person? I don't know if we've had an air person before. I don't quite know what your abilities are. Do you know what? That'll do. That'll do. I'm sure we can muddle through. We've got plenty of sort of healing things to keep everybody going. So there we go. Right. Begin the battle. So everybody come down here. I assume, are you going to go right down now? Yeah. Okay. I think they're going to top up their magic first because we told them to. That's pretty good. A messy meddler. Is wandering the halls. That's a bit of a nuisance, but okay. Can't do much about you, I don't think. We can battle them. We can battle them. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll do that in a bit, maybe. I don't know what they're doing. They're just making a mess of things. I mean, they're meddling and, and, and being messy about it, which is no great surprise. Um, okay, Betty is topping up magic. Who should be coming down here? Oh, everyone's here. Sorry, I didn't see you there, Bernard. I apologise. I, I cast doubt upon you. Oh, okay. We're dropping down a bit. Right, this should be okay. We get three attacks before they get theirs. And then it's, uh, yeah, Dave the cushion person last up. So I assume they're a little bit slower than everybody else. But okay. Uh, right, I think then let's work again on one of them. Work on that one at the front. So torrent you. Boom. That's pretty good. Right, what do air people have? Shield of wind. Add shield one to the targeted ally. Okay, so a little kind of defensive shield thing. Or multi-strike three. Attacks an enemy three times. Oh, that sounds quite fancy, doesn't it? Do that. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, not that much damage. 
but that's quite good. Okay, uh, we'll do a growth sort of weedy vine thing on you. That traps you, and then on your go, you take damage. Oh, no. Okay, you've taken a bit of a hit there. Uh, and now it's Dave. Okay, right, fireball. <laughs> fireball you. Boom, critical hit. Okay, perfect. Um, and now we're back onto you. Um, yeah, let's torrent. Soak does slow them down, though, which is quite good. Torrent causes more damage, but soak does slow them down. But I think, hang on, if we do that, batter you with that you're down to 16 um whose go is it now edric okay so edric could you do oh it's 15 damage and they're gonna get their attacks in again okay hang on a minute we need to heal up poor danny there because if they all pick on danny again he's gonna go down so use let's use um not a revival flask we just got a regular healing potion. Okay, potion of greater rejuvenation. It's a little bit overkill, but we've got three of them and it's fine. So use on... Uh, oh no, I want to use it on them. Can we use it on that other person? Can we do that? No. Oh. <laughs> this, this could be bad, couldn't it? Hang on. I think a few people in the comments did say that we can move people about for free. So can we swap you two around? Okay, they do a little kind of fancy leap thing. Okay, and then how about we make the people on the front row a little bit stronger? Okay, so you do that, and now they're all going to get a go. So you're going to take a hit. You're taking a hit. Okay, so I don't think Danny would have been dead, but Danny would have been quite horribly injured. They would have been in a bad way, shall we say. Right, now it's Dave's go. The only thing is, I think we can take out you. So maybe we start picking on that drowned one. So, fireball! And boom! 40 points of damage. Lovely. And then, yeah, if you do your... Oh, shield of Wind could be quite good for you, though, couldn't it? To protect you a bit. So protect you, my friend. Oh, that's quite good, though. Um, and then, if we... Yeah, torrent... Oh, hang on. No, hang on a minute. We could soak you... Um, mana cost 40. Oh no, mana cost 10. Oh no, do that. That's way cheaper. So just soak you, and that means you're not around to do another attack. So you can't cause damage. So get rid of you. Away you go. Watered to death. And wonderful. Right, okay. You've been shielded. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Edric's taking a bit of a beating. Okay, right. Take this out. So boom. Critical hit on that. Well done, Dave. Oh, Dave. So impressive. Right, you... Oh, hang on. You use your potion. So you heal up. Wonderful. So you're not going to die. And then you can do the thorn thing on you. Because we can't reach the uh, the belcher at the back there. And then... How about another shield of wind on you? Brilliant. So you've got a shield going on. And now we're on Bernard at the back. I mean, can we... Oh, that'll kill you. I know, we'll do a torrent thing on you to kill you. To take that out, Bernard just finishing them off with water. Well done, Bernard. Very impressive. And now we can all pick on you, but that attack was shielded, which is brilliant. Right, lob a fireball at you. Boom, down to 90. Um, and I think everybody just wail on this thing. Just wail on that thing. That can take some damage from thorns. And if it gets another go, it'll take more damage. You can do a multi-strike thing in it. So, piao, piao, piao. That's very impressive. It takes damage from thorns, I think. And then you can... How much mana have you got, Bernard? You've got 90. Do you know what? Can you soak that thing to slow it down? So we can then get some more turn. Yeah, there we go. Look, we slowed it down. So now these three get another turn. Okay, so another fireball. If you could critical it, that would be brilliant. But no. Um, do another growth thing and that should finish it off. Okie doke. Perfect. Well done, everybody. Well done. That was genuinely very impressive. That was pretty good. Oh, now look, it's going down here. Okay. So now we're sort of going down and across a bit. It's really pretty. Like the, the artwork, the visuals on the sort of the underground bit. It's very nice. Look at it. It's very pretty. But yeah, we need somebody to come pick up all the things. There are many things. And also, hang on, hang on. Can we now have a battle? Can we have a battle with that thing? Can we begin a battle? Um, okay, we'll go and take out the messy meddler. We'll just bring all the things. I think people should be sort of okay. Or maybe 
Hang on, Bernard's okay. Dave's a little bit injured. Danny, okay. Take Danny out, put Frost in for Danny. So I think which one's Danny? Danny is not that one. Okay, hang on a minute. You go there, look. And then put Edric at the back. And then bring Betty in for Dave. There we go. And then begin that battle. Let's go and have a fight with the messy meddler. And Danny completed a trial. They completed one of their things. Oh, okay, that's quite good. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're going to come and ruin all of the stuff down here. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Right, okay, run time on. Let's let them go and get ready for a battle with the messy meddler. Okay, we're all walking toward the messy meddler. Are we ready to go and fight the messy meddler? How does, how does this work? It says cancel battle, but they're all just... Oh, here we go. Ah, right, okay, wonderful. There we go. We've gone outside for some reason. I'm not quite sure. We were underground a minute ago, but okie doke. Um, okay, you lob a fireball at that thing. It's got 170 hit points. Crikey's. Um, you... Do your shadow cloak thing. So Betty's going to be sort of, you know, hidden behind an exciting shadow cloak. And then if you soak that thing to slow it down a bit and make it slightly weaker, that's got to be good. And then if you cover it in vines, that's going to cause damage as well, or thorns or whatever it is. Okay, Oh, oh, Frost took a big hit there and they're being corroded. Takes 15 damage at the end of each round. Oh, crikey's. Okay. Right, we need to finish this thing off really quickly. A critical hit. That's what you get. Frost is really angry then. <laughs> and then, this is going to finish off. Tentacle Lash on there from Betty, who's hiding in the shadows. And woobly woob. And it's gone. Okay. We get Ectoplasm and two more Arcane Scrolls. Brilliant. And we've got rid of that thing that was kind of wandering about being a bit of a nuisance. Wonderful. Right. Who needs to go and have a lie down? I imagine people might need to go and have a bit of a lie down. So let's run time on. We'll let people heal up. And then, I mean, yeah, when do we do this thing? Maybe when, I mean, do we take Danny or do we take Edric? Danny's got an air wand. Edric has a nature wand. Um, we've got fire, dark and water. Okay, so either of these would be a good new teacher because they're both sort of trained up in different things. So, I mean, yeah, maybe... Danny is in pain. And we could get Edric. It's a good name, Edric. We could get Edric on board. And then um, I think maybe, yeah, we should heal them up first. Although Edric is fully healed, of course. Okay, Edric, would you like to become a staff member? Hopefully you do. <laughs> so Edric, pop you onto there. And then Paisley and Betty. Paisley and Betty, you can go and do that. So you can go sort this out as a higher student, as a staff member. They can perform more task types, but can no longer complete trials and earn medallions. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Should we go and check what you want to do, Edric? Uh, are there things we can help you do uh, in terms of your trials and things? Um, you want to eat in a room with at least six students or staff present. Oh, crikey. Um, land the killing blow on three enemies. And what's that? Charge a mana lantern three times. Okay, I don't think we're going to get that done. Although Danny has completed that, look. Danny has completed that. Cannot become fearful one. So you can't be scared. Go two days without getting craving and also charge a mana lantern. People love charging mana lanterns. Maybe, maybe we should wait and get Danny in because Danny's got a special kind of bonus thing, which will make them better as a teacher. That could be quite handy, I suppose. Okay, do you know what? Wait for Danny to heal up a bit. And when they've recovered, when they've, you know, medically rested up, we can then turn them into a teacher. I think that's what we'll do. I think we're just about to finish that bit of research, which is all very good. There you go. Ritual accessories. So it might be worth looking getting those in. However, have we now got the scrolls we need to do that over there? Hardy foliage. Yes. OK, right. We'll have a bit of that. Thank you. I mean, I'm not bothered about that. I'm bothered about that. The support thing could be quite good. Support all the way down is going to be good. And then, yeah, we're going to need a lot more scrolls to get that done. Okay. That's a, yeah, Explore the Underschool is the only place we get that stuff from. Okie doke, right? That's fine. We can begin sort of working toward that, which is going to be handy. But, um, yeah, okay. I think as well now, let's maybe work on that room there. Let's see what we can do with that. So what do we need... For a dining room. And yeah, a few people in the comments did point out that uh, yeah, the dining room 
is for staff and a mess hall is for students. A private dining room. Okay, how does that work? Dining table, 25 or greater luxury, private and lofted. Ah, okay, right, it's not going to be private. And then a salle à manger, which is French for... Is a salle... Is salle room? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, manger is eat, isn't it? But that's fancy. So a dining table, 85 or greater luxury. I don't think we can manage that. Private, lofted and towered. Okay, we're nowhere near getting that sorted. Maybe a mess hall and then a dining room, possibly. Um, I mean, they've both got to be lofted. Taller than it is wide. It's really hard to have taller than it is wide rooms game. <laughs> it's really tricky to get that done. Okay, we need to build out, really. We need to build outwards. We, we're struggling in terms of building stuff. Okay, okay, right, fine. I think we need to get that research done then. But we could at least build a room here. We could get something done. What about a workshop? What does that need? That's got to be lofted as well. Taller than it is. Well, they're very big on tall rooms in this game, aren't they? The wizards love a tall room and not a not a narrow room. Um, okay, right. We'll see what we can do with that, but I'm not entirely sure we can do lots with it. Uh, okay, right. Run time on. Run time on. Let's just tick time on, and we'll just build. We'll build something here. We'll build a long room and just use it for something. I don't know what, but we'll put something here. Okay, we have another gremlin in the school. It's causing a few problems with some resources over here. If we could go and hunt that, that would be grand. Everybody currently just having a bit of a dance. Betty, Betty, I imagine you would love to go and hunt this thing. That seems like your thing. So, Betty, I'm going to override your dancing. Go and sort out the little sort of gremlin thing because it is possibly being a bit of a nuisance. If we could go and yeah, remove that from the place, that'd be quite good. And while they're doing that, I did notice that we've got new things, of course. From that last bit of research, we can build a solemn pedestal. So it might be worth putting that in the assembly hall just to make it a bit fancier. So let's have one of those. I mean, maybe put it next to the candelabra thing. That'd be quite good. I think, I didn't look at what that needed to build. What do we need for that? Stone and ice petals. We've got loads of ice petals and stone and stuff, so that should be okay. And then maybe as well, we put one in here. Just tuck it in the corner. Just make things a little bit nicer about the place. And then, I think we should get a mana lantern. I think maybe a mana lantern is going to be a handy thing to have. So if we can tuck that into the corner there, that would be quite useful. Because as we've seen, a couple of these students really wanted to go recharge one of those. That was their big thing. So maybe we should let them go and do that. Let's let them just you know, recharge a mana lantern because that's their big exciting dream. And, you know, I think that maybe they could dream a bit bigger, but there we go. That's what they want to do. So get those things in and let's just get this thing done here, shall we? So we shall have a wall. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. A wall and then a floor that goes, hang on, so just checking, one, two, three, four, five, and then across the top, so one, two, three, four, five, and then it's going to have to be a bit like that, but that bit in the middle is not supported, even though it's completely fine on all the other floors. <laughs> why is it supported here but not there, game? Why, why is this the case? I don't understand. Um, support lessons are further away from a, a block connects laterally with a fully supported block. Uh, all the fog is advancing. We need to go and sort the fog stuff out, actually. I forgot about that. Um, so how can I build the floor there, but not there? Um, I don't I don't really understand. Oh, is it because there's a supporting thing here and there's not a support? That says 100%. That says 100%. I don't understand. I'm not a structural engineer. I don't get the building in this game. I just want to build a room without worrying about structural integrity. I want to build a wizard school, not an engineering school. Um, okay, there's going to be one bit which isn't finished, <laughs> which is potentially a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Um, although, although, could we put a wall bit there? Because there's no point having floor there, because we're going to have more wall coming up. It's got to have wall coming up that way, I think. So what if we had a wall section there? And then, floor going out like that. That bit apparently is still completely unsupported, even though it clearly is. Okay, we'll put that in for now. And then we'll just see what we can do about that. Um, I mean, yeah, can we put a little sort of hallway thing in? Requires wall behind and floor below. Just to split that up into two bits again. I don't really want to keep splitting the things up through the middle. 
of that room could be something useful, I suppose. It could be a little something, but okay, okay, right. Just let we'll let you go and do that, and we'll try and figure that out at some later point. Okay. Annoyingly, we are losing quite a lot of resources due to the rain. Look, lots of things are being destroyed by the rain because we've harvested them, but we've not moved them indoors yet. So we are losing some stuff, which is a bit of a nuisance. Another gremlin. Another gremlin. Whereabouts are you, pesky gremlin? Um, actually, I can't see where it is. Where is... Hang on a minute. Where is the gremlin? I can't see. Oh, it's there, look. It's right there. It might be... Hang on, is it damaging the wands? Okay, no, hang on a minute. No, you can't do that. No, no, no. Go, go and hunt that thing, please. It's damaging wands, potentially, which could be a bit of a bother, because they're not easy to get sorted. Okay, there we go. Already sorted. The thing's been taken care of. That's all very good. And yeah, over here... We still do have that bit unsupported. I, I don't really understand why. If that bit's supported, why isn't that bit supported? I don't get it. That room looks the same as that one to me. But there we go. Apparently they're completely different. So I'm not quite sure what we can do with that. However, how are we looking for Viscera? 26. We do need to push the fog back. It's a little bit close again. It's got back to six days. So I think do a superior repel fog. So you lot... Go and do that, please. That's going to be wonderful. And then I think in the meantime, can we get ourselves another cot set up in here? So a fairly basic bed in the teacher's quarters. And then maybe get a basic bed over there in the student room as well. Should we maybe think about going from three teachers, excluding Paisley, of course, so three alive teachers and three students to four alive teachers and four students? That could be quite good. Then we just move that over a little bit just to make sure people have got room to dance and such. There we go. Right, so plenty for you to get on with. But yeah, the big thing really is pushing that fog back. Okay, the ritual is underway. And I think I understand what the grey bit on the mana font is now. I think that's how near the fog is. So when they do this, they're kind of pushing the fog back and they're clearing, cleaning, purifying the mana crystal thing over here. I think that's what's happening. So the fog should now go back a very, very long way indeed. Good grief. Okay. 12 days away. Okay. That was fantabulous. Well done. And now what we need to do is we need to go and find all those crystal things, all the smoky crystals. We need to go and grab lots of those. Um, although, although there are other useful things as well. There's stuff here. Look, let's hang on. We're going to gather a few of these. Gather a couple of bits of that. But yeah, really, the important thing is those smoky crystal things. Whereabouts are they? There's one there and one there. Although they are a bit near the fog. They're a little bit near the fog. So are we going to lose the stuff that we harvest from them if the fog goes over it? I'm not quite sure. There's one there, look. Grab that. Oh, hang on. There's loads over here. Maybe we tell them to go and grab those ones and not the other ones that are a little bit too close to the fog. Um, yeah, okay, right, hang on. Let's just go and cancel the orders on the other ones. Okay, so don't go and get those because they're a bit near the fog and I don't want bad things to happen. So we'll come back and get those maybe at a later point. And now, yeah, get time ticking on a bit. Uh, so with that done, we're going to try and sort that a little bit out there. We could potentially think about getting a dining room sorted in there. It'll be fairly basic, you know, dining table and such, but that's all it's going to be. I don't think we can make it into a proper actual dining room. But I think yeah, if we get a wall in, like that. That might help. However, however, if we open that up, we're currently doing hardy foliage. We could then maybe look at getting a little support done. Arch support small. A bracket that extends the support provided from a wall to a floor by two. So maybe, maybe if we get that done, we could just put a few little kind of support arches in over here and here to support that roof a little bit better. Maybe that's what we should try to do. Okay, right, there we go. And we now need to... Is everyone healed up? I think everybody's healed up. We have a bit of a choice here. Do we go back down into the dungeons again and do some more exploring and pick up some more scroll things for research? Or do we graduate Danny and possibly even Edric? We could get them both in. We could get them both in. That would be really good. Turn them both into teachers... And then we'll have loads more people to go and do loads more stuff. We'll have to make more food and such like, but I think we're okay for food. I mean, it's rubbish food, but I think we're okay. I think, let's go and do another battle. Let's go and do this. So we'll put Dave back in 
Dave's fully healed. So Dave was pretty good. I mean, two fire mages at the front. That's quite good, isn't it? And then we'll have, yeah, Bernard at the back to do water stuff. And then we'll have, who are you? Edric. We'll have Edric there to do nature stuff with the whole brambles and all that kind of stuff. Right, okay. Yeah, so we'll take all of these things, please. Nine out of ten supplies. Uh, yeah, begin that battle. And then when that's done... We will then try to graduate, no, not graduate, promote you two to teachers. So yeah, you spent loads of time here, and instead of going out into the, the free world and seeing new exciting things, you can just come and live here and work here forever. That's what you can do, yay! Okay, here we go, new bit, square room. Two things, only two. One of them is a lantern keeper. We have fought those before, though. Okay, so the lantern keeper is going to go next. Okay, and then we get a couple of goes, and then Dave is last. Okay, so you're first. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to do Vengeance as Retaliate 15 to allies in the targeted row. So when they get hit, they're just going to fight back immediately. So, okay, we'll do that. We'll have a bit of Vengeance. So you're going to attack us. We fight right back at you, <laughs> which is quite good. Uh, and then if we start doing some soaking, that might slow people down. Uh, oh, the drowned one's on the back row. Oh. Oh, that count, we can't get it. Look, it's on the back row. Oh, okay, well, let's slow the Lantern Keeper down. So maybe that'll push their turn way back. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, and then how about we make them a bit stronger for a couple of rounds? Their fireballs are going to be really potent. We fight back at you. You're weird and glowy at the minute, but that's brilliant. Right, so now that fireball should cut if it's critical... Oh, yes. Critical hit. That thing goes down. Okay, that was brilliant. And then another fireball. So, boom. Another critical hit. Oh, yes. Good job. Good job. Right, and then soak you to slow you down. So, to push you down the pecking order of where people are going. Uh, okay, right. This is good. Uh, growth. Put that on you. A few little sort of thorn things. That's all very good. And then another fireball. If you could critical it again, that would finish it off. But, oh, you did. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. Oh, although we now have a cursed student. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, what? Gale? Who's Gale? Where did Gale come from? Who are you, Gale? I mean, does that mean we have a new student? I'm not quite sure. We picked up some eyeballs and some void cap. Yay for that. But is there a new person? Uh, yes. Oh, Okay. We've got a new student who's just come from down here, it seems. Hang on, hang on. How does that work, then? So you're just... What's this thing? Well, this... Gale is cursed, but what does that mean? What does that mean? Underscore chamber... Oh! Oh, is that all done? Oh, that's all done. But there's... Gale, what does curse bound mean, though? What does that mean? Um, Bound by a curse. I, I, I worked that out, game. I'm aware that curse bound means they're bound by a curse. Thank you for the clarification, but what does it mean in the game itself? What do we actually do with that? I'm not quite sure. You're... Oh. You're stuck in a... Th oh, we're trying to get you... We tried to get you out a little bit, and then we got bored. Okay, you're trapped in a thing. How do we free you? <laughs> How do we get you out? Everyone else is just going to clear it off. Everyone else has just gone, eh, do you know what? That's ah, probably fine. We'll work it out in a bit. It's okay. Um, right. Can we can we help them somehow? I don't know how we can help them. <laughs> They're stuck in a kind of weird red tentacle sort of a thing. Um, right. I don't know how we deal with that. However, however, one thing that we can do right now is get some more staff members. So, yeah, we've got the bed bill. I've uh, only got one bed. I suppose, in theory, we could put another bed. What's that? A carcass? Why is there a carcass in the bedroom? What's happening there? Why? Maybe there was a... Oh, was there a thing there? Was there a, um... A, a, whatever it is, a little gremlin thing? And we killed the gremlin. Also, why is that growing in there? I thought that room was bright enough. Oh, it's not. I thought that was well lit. Um, oh, okay, hang on. We need more lighting in there. 28% lit. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. We can try and sort that out as best we can. Lighting. Candelabra. Put one over there like that. So I think it's in more or less the same position as that one, but on that side. Yeah, so pop that like that. Let's try and make that room a little bit brighter. That could be quite helpful. Um, 
Right, so one thing we are going to do right now, I don't know what to do with Gale. Uh, apologies, Gale. We'll sort it out in a bit. I'm not quite sure. You've got a level two earth wand. <gasps> Gale's a fancy pants student. Okay, that's quite exciting. Um, Over here, higher staff. Okay, so let's drop you out. So, um, yeah, Danny, would you like to come in? Would you like to be a student? Uh, no, not a student, a teacher. Would you like to do that? This is going to be wonderful. Okay, so... um. Efficient one to two. What a celebratory mean. Excited they got to hire and a hiring. Oh, hang on a minute. No, take you out. You're not bothered. Uh, put who's struggling for their sort of uh, happiness thing. Uh, you're looking okay. Dave is also looking okay. Okay, put Bernard in for now. So Bernard, begin that ritual. Let's hire Danny as a teacher. Okay, this is quite exciting. We've not seen this before. So hopefully... They're all going to head upstairs pretty soon. Um, and then we need to figure out what to do with Gale. Sorry, Gale. We've left you in a dungeon. I do apologise. Uh, hang on. There's another gremlin. Hang on a minute. Okay, it's down here causing a bit of a nuisance. It's already marked to be hunted. However, Paisley, could you please hunt that thing? Just because it is going to cause problems. And then over here, look. Oh, oh, look at that. Exciting things are happening. Um, yeah, they're sort of being, uh, I don't know, promoted? electrocuted i'm not quite sure what's happening here but okay it looks a little bit potentially painful and then oh hang on a minute danny's become old <laughs> danny is now just aged but we have a new teacher okay and you're gonna go and remove curse bound from gale oh that's quite good oh that's wonderful okay um i mean frost do we now get you sorted do we get you promoted oh you're really badly injured for us i possibly should have treated that earlier never mind um okay right this is good this is good uh can we build the uh where is it is it furniture can we build the incense burners yet we've still only got four smoke pearls and we need 15 to build one of those and we need 30 to build two okay it's some of the things in this game are really hard to actually get sorted aren't they like, to turn that into an infirmary is quite a big challenge. You need quite a lot of stuff. Uh, what we'll do is, what we'll do is, I want to get that research done. Just to get it out of the way, look. Because it's taking a long time. So, if we get hardy foliage done, and then we can look at maybe getting these structural support stuff sorted out. And then we could possibly look at maybe getting that room sorted out. That'd be quite nice. Okay, there we go. There's Danny trying to get rid of the curse bound status. For Oh, oh. Hang on, are you done? I think it worked. Oh, well done, Danny. Danny did it. And then immediately you've done that. And to celebrate, you're going to go and plant some gut berries. Okay, wonderful. But now we have a new student. We've got Gail. And I think they're okay. They're just a regular student now. They were trapped by that kind of terrifying thing. But now they are free. And they're just on board. And they're carrying an exciting thing. What is that you're carrying? You are carrying... A dragon fire flask. Okay, they're quite good. They're the big damage causing things. Right, there we go. So we picked up a free student and we've now got another teacher. We've got Danny the teacher, which is brilliant because that does mean we can go and do some more stuff now. We can get more things done around the place, which is handy. Um, in terms of research, we've finished that research. Yay for hardy foliage. So now maybe a little support would be quite useful. That is 600 of our points there that's quite a lot of research so it's going to take a while to get that sorted but uh yeah okay that's fine let's run time on i think i think as well hang on a minute come out of that um i think because it's coming up to night time we will see paisley just go and do a good chunk of that research overnight i think they'll or somebody will so here we go yeah so dave's doing it right now and then when dave goes to bed because I think it is going to get quite late. Dave will go off to bed, and then Paisley will come and finish that off, because, of course, Paisley is a ghost and doesn't need to go to bed. So there we go. Like Everyone else has gone to sleep, and have we got enough beds? Yes, we have. Okay, we've got sufficient beds for everybody too, which is good. So there you go, Paisley. You carry on doing that research. If you could do it a tiny bit quicker, that would be brilliant, but do you know what? It's fine. We'll get there in the end. Okay, time's ticked on quite a bit. We are losing some more stuff to the rain, which is a bit of a bother, so maybe... We should possibly lay off on the go and harvest this task and let them go and do some gathering jobs instead because there's quite a lot of stuff lying around which is just taking damage in the rain. So that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, how honeyed stir-fry destroyed by water. 
No, we had fancy food and it's all gone a bit soggy. Okay, look, I mean, out here, look. We've got a lovely potion thing. And, oh, it's a revival flask. Somebody come and grab this. Danny, can you come and store that, please? Is it going to be intact by the time you get there? I don't think it is. Four out of 25. Come on. Oh, hang on. No, you. You, Paisley. You pick this up because that's really important. Yay. Okay, right. I think we just got it in time. And now the rain has stopped. Okay. Yeah, the rain is a problem. So we do need to sort that out. However, if Paisley is there, that means that we must have finished our research. Okay. Construction. We can build. We can't build an arch support small because we haven't got enough stone. Well, of course we haven't got enough stone. Why would we have any resources that we need? Of course we haven't got that. Um, okay. There's some over here. 75 in there. Okay. Go and mine that, please. Go and mine that. That's that's going to be really handy. I kind of just want to see if we can get that sorted. <laughs> um, although, I mean, do we just come back and do that next time? I don't know. How long is it going to take to get this sorted? How long is it going to take? I mean, they are gathering stuff now, which is good. There's spooky eyes in the trees again. Um, it is quite good they're gathering all the stuff because that means it's not going to go to waste. But I just do want to see what these kind of supporting thingamabobs do. What the arch support does. A bracket that extends the support provided from a wall to a floor by two. So if we put a bracket just here, for example, can we then fill that gap in and make that a proper room? That's kind of what I want to see. So, okay, right. If somebody could just go and get some stone out of this, that would be wonderful, please, because I want to go and build some architectural support thingamajiggers. Okay, we have enough to build our support thing. So how is this going to work then? Where does it go? So it's going to go where? How does this work then? Oh, hang on. Right, so it has to go like that. Or I imagine if we rotate it around like that. Okay. So I think, I mean, where's, it's right in the middle, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on. I know it doesn't make any difference where it goes. So if we put that on, I don't know, that wall there, can we then get that bit supported? That is the big question. So hopefully you can get this done. Right, okay, there we go. Oh, or not. Oh, you ran out of magic. <laughs> Sorry, Danny, you ran out of magic. It's fine. Uh, Dave's here to sort it out. Good old Dave. Right, so if we get that put together, already a third of the way through, does that then mean that that will be supported? Although, can we put a door here? I don't imagine we can put a door there now, which could be a bit of an issue. So maybe that might need to be a big tall room, possibly. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so pop that in. And there we go. Okay, right. So we need a few of these fancy looking things. But yes, can we now put a door in? Oh, we can. We can put a door in through the support structure thing. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Right, now we know that's a thing that we can do. I think we wrap things up for now and then we come back next time, carry on our sort of delving through the dungeon. But we've completed the fungal cavern. So next time we will head down to the lava mine. Okay, that could be quite good. And it might be worth, if we want to get another student in, getting one in using a water wand. Because, you know, if we're going down to the lava mine, I imagine there's going to be, you know, sort of you know, hot things down there. And water might be quite a useful counter to that. So I think that's what we'll try and do as well. But yeah, plenty to do. Okay, now we've got that done. We've got these kind of things here. We could possibly maybe put one there. And then build that out a bit. Could that be our sort of kitchen or whatever? And then turn that into a slightly taller dining room. But then really, because we have the stairs going up here, I kind of see this as being, these rooms are going to be it's useful rooms, but I kind of see them as being sort of rooms where there's always going to be stairs in them. So maybe if we get that as a kitchen, we can make a dining room up here possibly, or put the dining room here. Maybe build a wall just here. We could take that out eventually. That's fine. So build a wall here, make it a tall room, and then build a dining room here with a kitchen here, possibly. So you'd have to go... Oh, that's a bit of an awkward thing, isn't it? Getting the food from here and then taking it up to here might be a bit of a nuisance. But there's plenty to do, plenty to work out. And can we find enough smoke pearl things to turn that into a proper actual infirmary? Because that does seem like a very, very difficult thing to do. We haven't got a load of those smoke pearl things. Um, I'm not entirely sure we found any more. Uh, where was it? Was it furniture? So, um, no, we're still on four out of the 15 we need. 
I mean, that's quite hard, isn't it? We can find them in Inder School or Wandering Mage's Grave. Oh, hang on. We can find them from here? We find them from here, do we? Harvest. Uh, it's currently growing Hallow Lily. Oh, so it might pop out of here. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that it did a thing. Oh, there you go. It does a thing. It's got a useful purpose as well. Random stuff pops out of it. Well, there we go. We've learned something new and exciting today. But uh, yeah, I think we'll wrap up for now. Come back next time. And then maybe as well, continue the sort of uh, the plod down to here to try to be able to build foundation. We can get that done. In fact, you know what? Do that now. Set that going so it's done. But we are going to need a gigantic pile of arcane scrolls. We need another, what's that? 21 of them. So possibly, yes, we are going to need to do a lot of dungeon diving to then be able to expand the school out a little bit so it can be a tiny bit bigger and we can get some more proper specialised rooms in. But Joe, yeah, loads to do next time when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Mind Over Magic. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. It's got spinny bits on it. It's got whooshy bits coming out of the spinny bits. Wibbly, wavy, round science cylinders. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. It's not a good day for science. It's not a good day to be a scientist. It's almost like I shouldn't be put in charge of running a gigantic spaceship that is the last hope of mankind.